plugs. We're finally starting to see a bit of light at the end of the tunnel here with this whole differential setup. Um, spent a bit of time there just going through, uh, doing, a, doing a lot of surfing, uh, going through info about all of this uh, E39 back end stuff. Um, and we've got the following um, to report on it. It seems as if the 525D, the 530D, the 530I, the 535I and the 540I all use these large uh, diffs that have the different, that have the larger um, half shaft flanges and prop shaft flange. So, in order for us to get the ratio down to where we need it, um, we need to basically adapt the car to accept this differential. So, um, I've been uh, kind of scouring the country for parts and uh, thanks to some very helpful members of a, an Irish BMW forum, uh, I've managed to scare up most of the parts that I, uh, that I, uh, that I actually need. Um, first thing to tackle uh, are our half shafts. So, turns out um, that the splines on the hub carriers are all the same. So it was simply a case of getting my hands on a pair of 530D half shafts, uh, which I successfully did today. And uh, I've just basically bolted them on here. Absolutely perfect fit. Um, so fingers crossed uh, that takes care of the half shaft problem for me. Now, on the propeller shaft, uh, things are a little bit more tricky. Uh, so I'm going to just, I'm just going to bring the camera in a little bit here, just uh, hopefully so we'll be able to be able to see this a little bit better. Um, so what we have to do here to make this happen. So obviously on the differential end, uh, we have the larger. Flange. So our 530D um, drive shaft bolts straight up to that, no problems at all. Now we've got uh, two more problems being generated by this drive shaft. First problem is that it looks as if it's physically shorter um, than the 520i manual drive shaft. And the second problem, as I, as I discussed in a previous video, is that we've got, uh, let me see here, if I just get over this side with it, we've got the shaft split on the uh, center bearing there. So what I've got um, here, let me just see of that. Okay, here we go. So what I did was I split the shaft uh, on the center bearing there just so that I could actually uh, try a few things. Uh, first thing that I thought I might be able to do was to have a 520 shaft here. This is the 530D shaft uh, gearbox end. So I thought okay I'll just go ahead split these off and um, see if I could use the 520 front end with the 530 back end. Which are of course Sod's Law different size spline. So kind of thought um, I was definitely in the uh, trouble there. I started looking at maybe having to use a 530D gearbox and it was just really starting to get ridiculous. Um, I was kind of bemoaning the fact that I'm not in the United States where there would be uh, drive shaft shops uh, that would literally make up a new drive shaft for me in a drop of a hat. Um, when I got a tip about an engineering shop not too far from here uh, that apparently does just that. So I'm going to give them a call tomorrow and my hope is 
uh, that I'll be able to use the back end of the 530D shaft so that it mates up with the differential and the front end of a 520 shaft so that that will match up with the gearbox. So we've a bit of progress um, and uh, we're certainly a lot further on with this than we were a couple of days ago. Uh, so I think stay with, stay with, with us folks. Um, I'll report how I get on uh, with this engineering shop. Hopefully now it'll be actually open tomorrow. If not, I'll have to wait until the new year. Um, but at least we can be cracking on with some of this stuff now um, and uh, start to get a bit of progress on it. So stay w with us folks and uh, be back for more soon.